What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool transfer news video and today's report, today's video is about Liverpool's move for a highly rated La Liga star Gabi, Gabri Vega of Celta Vigo who is a 21 year old midfielder slash forward, he can play in a variety of positions and sources report that the negotiations with Liverpool are at an advanced stage because the player is really seduced by the project at Anfield so the Santa Vigo star Gabri Vega is uh, really intrigued by a move to Liverpool and uh, that's according to various reports the Northern Echo have reported that talks are at an advanced stage with Liverpool now looking to complete uh, their second summer signing after Alexis McAllister. So guys, if you are excited about this video, smash the like button and in this video we will have a detailed scout report and analysis of Gabri Vega, what he could bring to Liverpool, what is his playing styles, what is his strengths, weaknesses, all his stats, all his numbers and also how old he is, how many goals, assists he scored last season, this season and uh, the seasons before. So Gabri Vega at the moment he's 21 years old, he's Spanish, 185 centimeters tall and he can play in attacking midfield position uh, and center midfield, even defensive midfield and his current uh, market value is 30 million euros. His contract expires in three years in 2026 but I think he would be available for a pretty decent price and he scored 11 goals for Celta Vigo who stayed up in La Liga finishing in the bottom half of the table and he also got four assists so he got 14 goal contributions in 40 games so he played pretty much all of of Celta Vigo's games in uh, league and cup and last season he also had a very productive season uh, where he scored nine goals and got one assist uh, but he he played uh, basically um, some games for Celta Vigo's first team but he also played in the Spanish like third division I think uh, Primera División RF uh, for Celta Vigo's B team so he just got promoted to the first team basically last season or like two seasons ago uh, last season he played 10 games for Celta Vigo in all competitions and the season that just finished he played 41 games got 11 goals and 4 assists so but he's still a very young player you know only 21 years old but also we have to mention that Arsenal, Chelsea and Newcastle are also interested in Gabri Vega and Transfermarkt currently value the player who is a Spain on the 21 international at around 30 million euros which is about the same valuation that Manu Kone has which is just 25 million pounds so even if Santa Vigo only sell him for 30 my million pounds he would be a really really pretty reasonable lowish price in today's transfer market so Gabri Vega is naturally left-footed and he just turned 21 years old so he wouldn't take up a registration spot uh, for the coming season he's very good at bringing the ball forward skipping past opponents and he's elegant on the ball and it wouldn't be a surprise if he obtained full international honors in the near future a specialist from long distance Gabri Vega has all the attributes to be a top player although having played uh, less than uh, 50 La Liga games uh, the sample size is a little bit small maybe he needs a little bit more experience and Gabri Vega really stood out in the last game of the season where Celta Vigo played Barcelona and Gabri Vega scored two goals and I watched that game and Gabri Vega was absolutely electric he was a real thorn in Barcelona's side in a, the Barcelona's defense just couldn't handle him he scored two goals and he was a great player but the majority of his goals came in uh, like in the first uh, like 20 games of the La Liga season and his stats are pretty incredible for just a 21 year old player he's non-penalty goals per 90 minutes is 0.43 which means that every 90 minutes he almost scores one goal every two games which is an incredible goals to games ratio for just a 21 year old player his uh, non-penalty xg is 0.24 so he, that means that he's almost doubling his goal tally from the expected uh, goals that he has. He also is in the, in the top 2% 
of uh, you know La Liga players when it comes to shots total per 90 minutes 2.4 shots per 90 minutes which is really really impressive progressive carries in the top 13 percent in La Liga non-penalty goals uh, per 90 minutes he's in the top one percent of La Liga non-penalty xg top three uh, percent in La Liga really really impressive Touches in the attacking at penalty area, 2.6 touches per 90 minutes. He's in the top 11% of uh, La Liga players. Uh, successful take-ons, 1.5 per 90 minutes, in the top 12%. Uh, so really, really awesome uh, stats for his player, for this player. And his wages are so low because he's a young player. He just got promoted like two seasons ago, pretty much, to the first team from Celta Vigo's youth academy where he has been playing for Celta Vigo's B team he earns 180,000 euros per year which I mean for a normal person it's a huge amount of money but for a footballer it's uh, like he earns less in a year than Mo Salah earns in a week at Liverpool just to put it into context so even if Liverpool 10x his wages he would still be in the bottom third of Liverpool's earners uh, when it comes to like professional players at Liverpool Football Club and because in the La Liga Championship release clauses are mandatory there is a rumor that Gabri Vega's release clause is around 45 million euros and recent reports suggest that it could be even less um, because Celta Vigo are not a rich club they have been struggling to fight off relegation and yeah they, they have been struggling uh, in the La Liga staying up but not really achieving anything more so they don't have a huge huge uh, huge amount of money and if we, they could sell one of their star players one of their star young players for a lot of money like 30 35 40 million pounds that would mean a huge huge financial boost for Celta Vigo because they could sign quite a few good players and good talented players the real concern about Gabri Vega is his lack of experience and a move to the Premier League at uh, such a young age. We signed previously players from La Liga before at a young age. Some have succeeded like Xabi Alonso and some have failed like Iago Aspas, who is uh, the, still the regular top scorer for Celta Vigo. He has been keeping up Celta Vigo in the La Liga for years but when he went to, the, to Liverpool he just couldn't handle the Premier League. The different environment and he was also a bit part player at Liverpool and it remain it's a big risk to sign a player like uh, Gabriel Vega for at such a young age but uh, as you the saying is gold goes if you are good enough you are old enough so it doesn't matter if he's 21 years old or 25 uh, if he's good enough and he can handle the pressure then he will be golden for Liverpool and for just 20 25 30 million pounds I would take that risk but if I had the choice I would definitely sign Kefren Turam and Manu Kone ahead of Gabri Vega they are a little bit older one or two years older and they have a little bit more experience and I'm not sure if we badly need an attacking goal scoring midfielder as much after signing Alexis McAllister I'm not sure if this is the exact profile of the player that Liverpool need or want right now some football experts and some fans confused Gabri Vega for a deep lying playmaker but he likes to get the ball deep and drive up the pitch but sometimes he dribbles out wide when his team needs him in the center but of course that comes with a young age uh, with a young age and also with uh, the lack of experience but his brain breakthrough season uh, in a football world he is attracting interest from big clubs uh, for a reason his consistency of course can be questioned at this point if performances are considered discipline being an issue but things get heated during a game for a 21 year old player playing in La Liga for a struggling team who finished just three or four points ahead of the relegation zone to score 11 goals and to get four assists that's uh, really really impressive for a player who basically this was his first full season in the La Liga championship probably the best part of Gabriel Vega's game is his reading of the game he's always looking 100% to pick out his teammates to put in devastating through balls and also he likes to carry the ball 
to the opposition. He likes to run at people and I absolutely love direct players like that. Off the ball, Wego will always look to regain possession as soon as he can. This is irrespective of the number of yards Wego has to cover and he will always put in a 100% effort for his team. Despite being an attacking midfielder, Wego always looks to adapt according to what his manager needs. His ability to defend in one-on-one -on -one situations has been praised by experts given that he's an attacking midfielder. And multiple scout reports I'm reading, they are all saying that he has a release clause of 45 million euros, but I think Celta Vigo would accept around 30, 35 million euros for Gabriel Vega. The big question is, are Liverpool interested in him? Uh, apparently, there are already ad in advanced talks. I think it, uh, it depends on how much Celta Vigo want, because Gabriel Vega's contract won't be a problem. He's such a, he's on such low wages at Celta Vigo compared to Liverpool's wage structure that we just need to agree a transfer fee with uh, Celta Vigo and then the player is ours because uh, he wouldn't want to like uh, earn as much as even uh, mid-tier uh, mid, uh, players at Liverpool. So Gabriel Vega's best attribute is he's always looking for uh, the best pass to get one-on-one uh, -on -one situations for his teammates with the, with the goalkeeper or he's looking to carry the ball forward and to run at people and he has pretty great technical resources to play either in tight or open spaces being brave having the personality to dribble against defenders and uh, and he tries uh, very hard uh, almost impossible passes and sometimes when they come off it looks brilliant and he loves to counter press as well where he activates himself very fast when it comes to uh, he loses the ball he activates himself for counter pressing making his team push forward in the off the ball phase uh, despite being an offensive player he has a pretty good ability to recover balls in one-on-one -on -one defensive situations which is always good and uh, any player who joins Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool he has to be a very good counter pressing player Gabi Vega, Gabi Vega has everything in his locker to become a top player he just needs to keep working hard and develop and grow and if Liverpool decide to sign him, I think he will learn, he will get much better at Liverpool. The big question is, can he adapt and uh, get accustomed to a new league, a new language, new playing style? Because Liverpool play quite a different style of football and also we dominate the games a lot more. And we play against low block teams a lot more than Celta Vigo. At Celta Vigo, when Gabriel Vega gets the ball, he has a lot more room to run into. So that's always the question with these young players. Can they adapt to the Premier League? Can they adapt to playing for a huge club like Liverpool where every game your performance is scrutinized, analyzed? And discussed and if you are performing and uh, not well in two or three games the fans will be on your back and can he handle that does he have the confidence the personality to handle that and that's a, the big question always when it comes to these young players and also one for the future Liverpool have been scouting uh, the player who was instrumental in Feyenoord winning their first Eredivisie title since Dirk Kite was Probably his last season at Feyenoord when he won the league. Uh, that's well, That was the last time that they won the league, Feyenoord, before this season. And according to the Telegraph, Jürgen Klopp was a chair apparently charmed by Urkan, Urkun Kukchu. But he is joining Benfica. He is uh, on his way to Benfica. He already landed there. But this is a player who we have to keep a close eye on. Uh, Benfica paid uh, 30 million euros, plus they have a salon clause in inserted Feyenoord for 20% of a future transfer fee. And the contract is five-year contract so medical is booked already and there is a massive 120 million euro release clause for Kukchu and if he becomes a world-class midfielder then Liverpool will have to pay a double or triple that but that's the thing Kukchu might not be good enough right now to play for a Liverpool team but at Benfica he's playing Champions League football regularly and in the Portuguese league Benfica are one of the most dominant teams so he will have a very very good chance there to grow and develop and I just want to keep an eye on him and uh, Kukchu is one to watch for the future because some uh, Liverpool fans are even saying that in two or three years we might be interested in signing Kukchu I just wanted to mention his name so you guys maybe could watch some Benfica games and see how, how good he is and I will be tuning into, into Benfica's uh, 
Champions League games and see how he performs. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I had a lovely day, a lovely time making this video for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Have a lovely day yourself. Goodbye.